What is up guys, this is Tim Tsai here and today welcome back to another World War II Zombies video. Now before I start the video, smash the like button down below if you do enjoy this video and subscribe if you are new. But anyway, let's go right into today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a high wave strategy on the final rack. I'm going to show you what perks to equip, what guns to get, and the training spots. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now the perks you want to get is quick revive, speed cola, double tap, stamina up, and electric cherry. And for the guns you would want to grab the M1941 in the riverside area of the map. This gun is amazing up until the later rounds where it will be primarily used as a point booster. You would want to get the Tesla gun and have it upgraded to the Midnight. The Midnight is fairly easy to get. I might have a video going in depth on how to build it easily soon, but for now I'll link a tutorial in the description. But it's really not that hard to upgrade the Tesla gun to the Midnight. And last but not least is Pack Punch M1911s. This will be good for dealing with the boss zombies up until around round 30. At round 30 plus they become bullet sponges and the only way you you can kill them successfully is by using traps. You can also use the traps to kill zombies as well. You're going to be using traps a lot here. Now we got all that out of the way, let's talk about the train spot. Where you would want to train is at the village square slash riverside area. You would want to loop your zombies around that area. Don't try to gather a big horde of zombies, otherwise it might end badly. Usually with a lot of high round strategies, you would want to gather up a big horde of zombies and then kill them while they're in a big horde. That could possibly get you killed this time around because you also got to deal with the boss zombies. And the boss zombies, like, you can't just hoard them up, otherwise it's just going to end badly. I don't really recommend just hoarding up the zombies. On the screen, I am showing gameplay of the general area around the map. You just you do a big circle around the riverside slash village square area of the map. Like honestly, that is a really, really, really good like trading area. Like I said, on later rounds, you're not really going to be using your weapons a lot. I mean, you're going to be using them, you know, to boost points. However, they're not going to be really that effective because at the release of this video, there hasn't really been a way to double pack a punch. I don't even know if we can double pack a punch on the final Reich. And even the Tesla gun can be pretty useless at a high round. I mean, it's pretty good, you know, for wave 50 attempts, but like if you're going beyond wave 50, it might get weaker and weaker. It's just... I mean, honestly, the Midnight is a really good, like, Tesla gun upgrade, but your guns are going to get weak, and you're pretty much going to have to rely on traps to kill the boss zombies. I mean, the regular zombies is a pain enough. However, the boss zombies, like, they're going to be constantly spawning here. You're going to have flamethrowers. You're going to have bomber zombies. You're going to have a lot of boss zombies, and they can be pretty dang annoying, but just kill them with the traps, and that's honestly, like, the best tip I can give you guys for dealing with those guys. But that's going to wrap up today's video, a high wave slash high round strategy for the final wreck in World War II Zombies. Leave a like if you did enjoy this video, and subscribe if you are new for more World War II Zombies content. Comment down if these tips have helped you out in some shape or form, and comment down your highest round on the final Reich. But my name is Team Saiya here. Hope you guys have a wonderful day to see those positive vibes flowing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.